Tesla production, deliveries graphed through Q2 2024, the road to 6 million EVs. Hey there, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric vehicles. If you're as pumped about the future of transportation as we are, then you've come to the right place. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips on all things EV. But before we dive into the electric goodness, we need your help to keep our battery charged. So, if you enjoy what you see, give that subscribe button a little love, hit the like button to show your support, and drop us a comment with your thoughts or questions. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider giving us a super thanks to help us improve and bring you even more amazing content. We promise, we read every single one of your messages. In Q2, the difference between deliveries and production hit a record 33,000 units. The second quarter of 2024 brought a year-over-year -year decrease in Tesla EV production and deliveries, but the results were not as bad as some expected. Among the findings, we can note that the company limited production to reduce the noticeable gap between production and deliveries from Q1 and just achieved the milestone of 6 million EV deliveries cumulatively. Tesla remained the world's largest EV player, successfully defending itself from BYD. In this post, we will examine the numbers and charts to visualize the progress and better understand what is happening and what to expect in the near future. $572 million loss to hacks and fraud in Q2 Immunify. Results Q2 2024. In Q2, Tesla's global electric car production amounted to 410,831, 14% less than a year ago. This is the lowest quarterly volume since Q3 2022. As usual, the lion's share of 94% fell on the Model 3 slash Model Y duo at 386,576, down 16% year over year. Production of other models, which includes the Model S, Model X, Cybertruck, and potentially even the Semi, amounted to 24,255, up 24% year over year. The total global deliveries amounted to 443,956, down 5% year over year. In terms of the two vehicle groups, the Model 3 slash Model Y duo noted 422,405 deliveries, down 5% year over year, while the other models noted 21,551 deliveries, up 12% year over year. Tesla Q2 foot 2024 results, YOY change. Total production, 410,831, down 14%. Model 3 slash Y production, 386,576, down 16%. Other models production, 24,255, up 24%. Total deliveries, 443,956, down 5%. Model 3 slash Y deliveries, 422,405, down 5%. Other model deliveries, 21,551, up 12%. Asterisk we are not entirely sure whether the other models category includes the Tesla Semi whose numbers were never reported separately. While the total results are worse than a year ago, it seems that the Cybertruck ramp-up is helping to boost the other models' category. However, the Model S slash Model X volume is most likely declining. Results Q1, Q2 2024. Tesla Q1, Q2 foot 2024 results, YOY change. Total production, 844,202, down 8%. Model 3 slash Y production. 798,952, down 9%. Other models production, 45,250, up 16%. Total deliveries, 830,766, down 7%. Model 3 slash Y deliveries, 792,188, down 8%. Other model deliveries, 38,578, up 29%. For reference, in Q1, Q4 2024, Tesla produced over 1.84 million electric vehicles globally and delivered over 1.8 million electric vehicles to customers. Charts. Total deliveries. Deliveries by model. After producing the 6 millionth electric car in March 2024, during the second quarter, Tesla crossed the level of 6 million EV deliveries. The cumulative result at the end of Q2 was nearly 6.3 million units, the highest of any manufacturer. This number includes more than 5.5 million Model 3 slash Model Y. Total production. Production by model. Tesla produced and delivered more than 1.75 million electric vehicles during the past four quarters. It's a slight decline from over 1.8 million vehicles in 2023. In the past, Tesla's long-term goal was to increase EV sales by about 50% year-over-year, 
but the year 2024 is much more challenging. It's not certain that the company will achieve any growth this year. One of the most interesting things is that in Q2, Tesla delivered much more cars than it produced. The difference amounted to 33,125 units, a record high. The previous high was 8,619 in Q2 2020. It means that after a record surplus of production over deliveries in Q1, 46,561, Tesla tried to reduce its inventory by slowing EV production. It helped. And the cumulative difference between production and deliveries at the end of the quarter went down from over 160,000 to less than 128,000. We might see a continuation of this in the Q3. And that's a wrap for today's episode of EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun as we did exploring the world of electric vehicles. Remember, your likes, subscribes, and comments are the sparks that keep our motor running. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving us a super thanks. Your contributions make a huge difference and help us deliver even better content. So, click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.